Hi friends, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to learn how to give a moody and dramatic look to your photographs. Now right now we have an image opened of a cheetah's headshot. It's a good snap but you know it's evenly lit and the moment I open this snap my eyes wander all over before coming down to the face of the cheetah itself. This is something which uh, I would say nicely exposed photograph but it is not something which attracts attention of the viewer. I would like to give you an idea as to how to go about creating an image which uh, is moody, which is slightly dramatic, which has got a bit of dramatic lighting and uh, all this can be done in Photoshop using the same image which you have captured like this one. So where do I want to take you? I want to explain to you as to how to create this kind of an image out of the same photo which you took. This is what is the original photograph and this is where I want you to go. So we'll see how we can work on our photos and get to this kind of a moody and dramatic look of an image. I'm sure you will agree with me that this is something which the moment you open this image straight away your eyes goes on to the cheetah's face because of the lighting and uh, you know the other areas like the corners and all that have been made darker so straight away your eyes are getting focused on to the cheetah's face the eyes have been enhanced so we'll see exactly step by step how to create this kind of a photograph for this let us delete this particular layer so go to here and uh, okay from here we'll delete this delete the layer yes so now we have this original layer what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate it twice so for that on pc you can press control on your keyboard and on mac press command and press j so there your layer has got duplicated we'll do this once more and there it is now we are going to hide this layer because we don't want to affect this layer while editing just to compare uh, with it later on so we have this layer here now the first thing which i want to do is reduce the brightness of this image for that we are going to go to the adjustment layer click on it go down to curves and click here now we get this kind of a dialog box grab hold of this particular slider and slide it down still it is quite dark let's say somewhere here or maybe yeah this is okay to me that's fine and we leave it at that now what we are going to be doing is you know here which you see the color picker this is the foreground color and this is the background color now you can change this by clicking here and we've got the background color as black and we've got white now for this exercise we need the background sorry the foreground color to be black so we'll click here or you can even tap X key on your keyboard and you will uh, get this now I have this brush I'm going to make this brush a bit bigger in fact first I need to select the brush and we have a okay size brush I'll just reduce the size a bit if you've been using Photoshop you know that by pressing the left bracket key you make a brush or a tool smaller and by pressing the right key you make it larger so you got this and uh, here we will increase the opacity to about 75% or so flow let it be to 100 smoothing zero fine now with this we are going to just paint over this see how this is getting lit so we're going to just work on the right side of the image here you need to imagine that the light is coming on onto the image from the right side so we'll work on the right side and we are going to also do up this a bit okay that looks okay to me below the neck and this side it will remain darker because if the light is coming from this direction then obviously with the head the light is going to get obscured and the other areas are going to be a bit lighter but the face may get the full light for that i am going to reduce the opacity to about 30 odd percent and we are going to work on this So we got this now and uh, 
I don't think I want to improve anything further as far as light is concerned. So let's now, in fact, we have achieved a lot just by doing this much. We are going to be doing a few more things, but we'll, first of all, we are going to merge the visible layers. For that, we are going to do right click and here it says merge visible, click on it. So all the visible layers have got merged now. So let's see. This was our photograph earlier and this is what we have got ourselves to. Now the next thing which I want to do is, I want to dodge and burn the eyes a bit. For that, I am going to create a blank layer and fill it with 50% gray. So for that, go to edit, go to fill and 50 gray. Now, you know, you have a lot of options here. So I selected 50% gray, it has come to me, uh, that is why I have show, click on OK. Now nothing you can see. So what we are going to do is go down here to layer panels, normal, and go and click on overlay. Now with this selected, select your panel, you have a couple of options like dodge tool, burn tool, and sponge tool. So let's take the dodge tool, and we are going to reduce the size of this quite a bit. And we are going to just work here on the highlights. Uh, let's make it to about exposure. Let's make it to 100%. Okay, so see how this area is getting a bit brighter and it's drawing. Now we can also run this over the highlighted area. So straight away, the difference in the light has come. This was what it was, and this is where we have got ourselves to. Now this looks to be much better. And now I want to work a bit with the burn tool and work on certain areas which I want to be more dark. Now before that, what I want to do is make few areas a bit brighter. Let me just increase this and reduce the exposure to about 30% and I just want to work on these areas you know where probably the light would have sprinkled out okay or even here okay so that's done we'll create another layer for that click here and we have this blank layer fill it up with 50% gray again so go down to fill and 50% gray, that's fine, and click on OK. Again, make the layer to overlay option. Now go here and select the burn tool. So you will notice that, you know, I just want to make this area a bit darker. So if I'm, let me do edit and do burn tool. Let me make this to about 30%. I don't want it to be too dark. So here, you know, I'm going to make it a bit darker. Now this area I want a bit more dark, so I'll make it to, let's say, 50% and work on it. Okay, here also I want to make it a bit dark. So we are going to just smudge it around here a bit darker here also on the corners so this is what i'm doing is i'm burning up certain areas to ensure that the focus of the eye goes towards the lit up area that is the face so we have done this friends just by doing this much i have achieved an image which uh, to me looks pretty good so let me just right click and merge visible so we started from this image which is perfectly fine, this image, nothing wrong with this image, but I want to give it a moody and dramatic look. So I have gone and done what you have just seen and got this kind of image. And to me, this is an image which attracts the attention of a viewer immediately towards the cheetah face. And I would love to have it as a wall hanging somewhere in my house because it is looking pretty good. So friends, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and uh, try it out on your images and you may find making your images 
look more attractive, more dramatic. Happy shooting and happy learning.